Alice welcomes you all to the webinar series, The B School Insider, all you need to know about your dream school, and I'm your host, Kalyani, for this series. So today, we will be focusing on PGDBA program, which is jointly offered by IIM Calcutta, IIT Kharagpur, and ISI Kolkata. And so we'll be talking about the prep journey, campus life, academics and placements, and PGDBA program. And so the key points that we will be discussing here uh, today are like PGDBA test prep tips, selection process for PGDBA, academic rigor, spanning these three top institutes in India, why choose PGDBA, what is so unique about this program in business analytics from the others, uh, placement trends, uh, glimpses from the campus life, and more. So let's welcome our panelists today. We have Manas Bhatt, he is PGDBA 2025 batch. We have Athav Kulkarni, also from PGDBA 2025 batch. We have Ankit Sarkusare, he is PGDBA 2024 batch and he is right now interning uh, at Oliver Wyman. And we have uh, Somadeep Dev, he is uh, from PGDBA 2023 batch and he is a data scientist at Oliver Wyman. Welcome all of you and thank you so much for being here for this session. So let's start from the beginning. So uh, if all of you can just talk about uh, briefly about your, if you were preparing for CAT and then you went for um, PGDBA, how exactly uh, you planned it. And also for PGDBA test prep and PGDBA score, if you guys can just uh, talk about that and maybe one tip each. Then of course, you know, we'll uh, take a few questions as well on that. Okay, uh, so we can start from the current batch. Manas, then Athar, uh, then Ankit, and then uh, Shaudi. Yeah. Yeah. Manas. Yes. So, hi guys. I'm Manas, and uh, uh, I've done integrated BSMS uh, in mathematics majors from Iser Bhopal. So, I was already preparing for PG Dev. I mean, I already wanted to prepare for PG Dev. So, I also gave CAT just to test myself. So, since I did CAT, so I was good in VARC and DILR section. So that section in the PGDB exam was easy for me. I just had to focus on the mathematics part, which I believe is very important for everyone since it constitutes of 50% of the exam. So you should focus on that. Second of all, my score was 134 out of 150 in the exam and I was rank one in the exam. So that really boosted up my confidence and, and uh, Anything that I would say that if you are preparing for CAT, don't really worry about VRC or DLR section. Worry about the mathematics concept. Do it really well since they constitute most of the part and that is the deciding factor that if you go into that program or not. This is what I have to say. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, Athar. Also, yeah, what did you study in your undergraduation? And then, you know, yeah, we can talk about it. Yep, sure. Yeah. Uh, hi all. So this is Atharva Kulkarni this side. Uh, I'm a 2019 graduate of VNIT Nagpur. I did my BTEC in Electronics and Communication. Uh, post completing my BTEC, I joined the industry as a software developer. So I have a, a four year uh, software development work in, uh, in financial services companies like Fidelity Investment and Investment Bank, which is Morgan Stanley. So before joining, uh, before joining PGDB, I was a software developer at Morgan Stanley. That is my recent work. And uh, coming to the uh, coming to my uh, the preparation for the exam and uh, about that as well. So I was mainly interested in the field of business analytics, and uh, for that reason, I was preparing for CAT as well as for PGDB. Why CAT? Because I was aiming for uh, PGDBA, and on the other side, uh, the PGDB exam. Because again, I was aiming for the PGDB. So again, uh, as I uh, as Manas already mentioned, I second with him on this top particular uh, topic. That when when you prepare, uh, I mean, in both these exams you have a common section of VARC and DILR. So uh, if you are already on such a journey, so uh, you don't have to really take any extra effort in this case when it comes to these these two sections. But uh, as he rightly pointed out, that in PGDB exam, uh, font is one of the major uh, major sections, and which has some additional topics uh, apart from CAT, uh, which uh, which requires you to prepare. Uh, on 
basics of mathematics from uh, 11th and 12th uh, in a bit so yeah so for that i uh, so, so so for preparing for that i mainly focused on ncrt materials so that i revised my concept because after having a four years of work ex i was totally disconnected from math, from the math uh, when it comes to work ex right so you you all can understand so uh, i had a, uh, i had to prepare a lot for that and for that reason i started from the basics and uh, and this is what uh, i did uh, to prepare for the pgdp exam uh, again due to the nature of the work and the demanding nature of the work i had my PG, uh, i bring in a unique uh, what do i say unique profile from my end the thing is because my score in the pgd pgdp exam was just on the cutoff but uh, what is unique about me is i can i represent a case where you can still get into this program you should do well in the next phase because in the overall yeah so we'll talk about the personal interview after yeah, yeah in the next question yeah, yeah. So that is something okay. that i will bring uh, bring up yeah. later in this sure. session but yeah uh, that right. is the input from my side yeah great yeah uh, ankit hey everyone this is the second time <laughs> so yeah so i was a cat student for sure and i did my btech in computer science from nit raipur back in 2019 I worked as a data engineering analyst uh, in Optum for three years, and post that, I mean, along with the work, I was preparing for CAT, so I never uh, prepared for PGDBA. So it's like, uh, uh, like for three four years, I was preparing for CAT, and I was good. I mean, I was well prepared for VARC and EIL. The problem was I was not good in time management, which I think is a advantage in PGDBA. So you have three hours, fifty questions, and things. So I can easily manage. Uh, so the main, I mean, as covered by Asar and Manas. Uh, Uh, the major portion is maths, so I like for one and one and one and a half months I prepared J E means maths and that is it. Ah, uh, yeah, my score was around one uh, one as I remember, and I had a good score in interviews. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, Hi everyone, I am Shomadi. Ah, uh, PGDB batch five. I was also a serial CAT aspirant. Had ninety nine point four two percentile in my final year. Had an offer from I am Indore, rejected mm-hmm. it, and then uh, joined PGDBA next year. Okay. Uh, my score during PGDBA entrance was one one four. Ah, didn't prepare that much for it. For me, it was only preparing say four days before the entrance exam, and my VRC and LRDI from CAT prep suffice. For quant, I only saw some JE main revision videos say for the last one or two days, and that was. enough for me i felt getting into pgdba was a blessing in disguise as later on i got to intern at d show and now i joined oliver wyman which uh, i would have never imagined possible before my pgdba degree so i guess that's it all the people you know who are there for uh, uh, you know for who will be probably taking pgdba uh, also the ones you know who have taken cat already and Will be also sitting for all the GDPIs and all that for all wherever they are getting calls from. Yeah, so maybe uh, Ankit, you can answer, and then Manas, you can just uh, yeah, pitch in. So, uh, uh, like, I'll bifurcate in two portions. If you are preparing for CAT seriously, then your VRC and DILR is done. You can just brush it off. And if you are not, then start preparing for it. It will like require twenty to twenty five days. And also, as fifty percent of it's of the content or the syllabus is of maths uh, what i follow is what i suggest is that uh, i firstly uh, i mean shortlist i mean what i did is i saw the syllabus and then whatever topics were there i started to i mean watch videos uh, from the youtube i mean from an academy je because uh, I, as i was uh, watching and i was uh, i mean also i was practicing the je mains questions that were particular to that syllabus and that was done So I was pretty confident in that. Ah, uh, moving ahead, if you get selected, I mean, if you cut, uh, I mean, you clear the cutoff, you'll get a call for the PIs. So for the uh, person interviews, ah, uh, the basic preparation is that uh, you should know yourself. That is common across inter MBA interviews or PGDBA interviews. Ah, uh, if you are preparing, if you have some MBA calls, do prepare for that. Apart from that, if you are particularly looking for PGDBA or you are trying to prepare for that, that also. uh look into basic probabilities uh wh- how you can relate analytics or what led to when you had a good job or actually and what led to 
uh, I mean, you pursuing PGDBA post that you're doing a good job or whatever is the case. So you have to relate that and you should be uh, knowing about the world. So I think that is covered in MBA and everything. Basic probability, I mean, basic probability, what are the distributions and everything, you should be aware of it. And they, I mean, they would basically check if you have prepared for the a CBT exam, that is computer-based exam, you should have in-depth knowledge of the concept of, I mean, differentiation and everything, continuous and everything. So, yeah, that's it for mine. Manas, okay, uh, Manas, can you talk about a little bit more about the application form? Is there anything specific? Uh, the application form, I think, will be available from Jan end or something. Yeah, so is there anything that specific that is different or, yeah. Yeah, the application form is on. You all guys can fill it. I don't think there is any spec anything specific. You just fill out have to fill out the information. If you have any doubts, just go to the IIT KGP uh, customer care. They'll they'll uh, they'll let you know whatever the problem is. Second thing about this exam, I will vouch one thing that if you start preparing from today, there are one to two months left. Two months left approximately. You can definitely ace this exam. If you have been preparing for CAT before, because your VRC and DLR would be done, all you have to focus is on quant. And since most of the people who, are, who will be giving this exam are engineers, mm -hmm. so if you just focus on NCRT and some YouTube videos, as Ankit said, and just give five to 10 mocks and analyze them properly, give some sectional mocks, you'll see your progress and you'll be able to do that. Trust me, you'll be able to do that. Just start from today. That's what okay. I have to say. Okay, uh, Ankit, can you uh, tell us something about, uh, because since Manus did say that uh, mostly engineers, so is it like PGDBA is specifically for engineers, as in, can a non-engineer try for PGDBA? Are there any students, uh, were there any students in your batch who was uh, yeah. non-engineer? Yeah. Yeah, there were two students in my batch mm -hmm. that are non-engineers. They had uh, one was uh, one was a M pharma student and one was a MSc mathematics students. So that is not the case that uh, non-engineers can't apply. There is a specific category that uh, they should have complete C plus two or something like that. I'm not I'm not sure of that. I'm mm -hmm. and they can apply for this PGDB. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, all right. Okay, so let's talk about the personal interview bit. Uh, what kind of experience was that? As in, uh, what kind of questions are being asked? So, uh, yeah, maybe um, so many people can start and then Ankit, then uh, Manus, then Alphan. Yeah. Uh, right. Specifically, the kind of questions that were asked and all that. Yeah. I think as the session is primarily focused on a lot of folks who gave CAT and now are trying to maximize their CAT script for PGDBA. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me tell you how that played out in my situation. I had prepared a lot for CAT uh, GDPI through uh, questions like tell me about yourself, mm -hmm. uh, the questions about economics, finance, my profile and at PGDBA those really helped. Uh, when I went to the interview, uh, the interviewer wanted to know how well I knew what I had done in my past life, my academics, my hobbies. And uh, they also wanted to look for the fit. A fit yeah. as in not only a cultural fit, but was I really built for a mathematical intensive code uh, course which might uh, lead to a lot of uh, coding uh, later on. So they were really checking on that aspect that one... Uh, does this guy know his profile in detail and to uh, whether he's suitable for a mathematical course. So uh, they ask uh, questions regarding my hobbies, regarding my hometown. Uh, and it was a lot similar to what I have experienced in B-School interviews with the additional component of a mathematical uh, strength which they check in sufficiently more detail. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, Ankit. Yeah, so first of all, let me give you a little background. So like it is the, you know, the program is offered by the three institutes. So there would be a represent, representatives from all the three. So I am Calcutta, there would be a, I mean, person from, I mean, faculty from I am Calcutta, then I say Calcutta and I am Calcutta also. And they'll ask questions from their domain. So if, if a professor from ISI Calcutta, he'll focus more on, prob, I mean, little bit on probabilities, distribution and everything, basic general idea. If there is uh, the prof from, I mean, if the prof is asking, uh, the question is from the prof uh, from uh, IIT Kharagpur, he'll 
he'll try to get an insight whether you whatever you know how is do you know the basic about it like differentiation calculation so they were asking me like what are the i mean they were they were asking like how do you get this how do you i mean what was what is the basic concept behind it why do we do, do this what is the real life impact or something like that so basically if you are learning uh, i mean something like differentiation integration try to get it like why it is done and uh, try to learn it from the first principle and uh, the third is like from the i am calcutta prof it will be like more about how gen- i mean how aware of the how aware are you of the general i mean environment like they try to get like what is what is going on in the world and how we are more aware and they try to get your viewpoints on it and apart from all of this these are all academical stuff they'll try to get you like uh, how do you picture yourself after 2 3 years how do you relate your work experience with the course that you are pursuing how it will help you in the future what are your uh, i mean prospects that you look in the near future in the long future i mean that kind of stuff these all things are covered in the mba interviews uh, you yeah. need to focus on more about academics that are related to pgdp so how long was your interview uh, my interview was i was totally graded by the i am calcutta prof i'll say Uh, <laughs> uh, and I didn't give an exact answers uh, for the uh, questions that were uh, like mathematics based. I was trying to reach out to that answer, and they were satisfied that I was trying. I was knowing the basics. Uh, I am calculate a prof was more like it was around twenty to thirty minutes for sure. Uh, okay. So like twenty minutes was from I am calculate a prof. She was getting trying to get more and more and more and more. So I was trying to I mean trying to improve. Uh, I don't know whether I was able to satisfy that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Manas. Yeah. So some points that I would add is that first of all, that whatever you'll fill in the form, just be yourself, be true to that. Since you might be asked questions on that. This is so the application fill, form you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Application yeah. form. Just, yeah. just be real. Don't fill anything. And second thing is that be really well versed with your undergraduate background. See, I was from mathematics background. I was grilled on mathematics. If someone is from electrical engineer, he will be grilled on electrical engineering. so be well well versed on that and since i was a fresher so more questions were on that thing and regarding be well versed with current affairs also whatever happening whatever is happening in the news anything so it is very similar on the mba interview lines if we see the current affair things and there can be some random questions which you can never control just be calm in the interview i mean i was trying to be calm in the interview but sometimes you lose calm so be calm in the interview and you'll be able to do good my interview experience personally was not uh, really bad or really good it was just neutral some at some point it didn't even feel felt as an interview so it was smooth so okay. that yeah that's okay. from my side yeah akar yeah sure so in my case i would definitely consider the interview as a game changer for me uh, because uh, at least my perception about my performance is good so in this case uh, i mean uh, as you as you are already aware of my background uh, mm-hmm. i mean i had a four years of working so i was not really expecting any questions from my previous domain because my engineering was in electronics and communications but i would consider this particular case as a special case but uh, because i was asked questions from that so that was something the, that i observed in my case my this might not happen with everyone but uh, i would uh, i would say that definitely spend some time just to revise or get to know things or uh, just to refresh things a little bit from the background mm-hmm. secondly uh, be aware of the so let's say if you are an experienced uh, person but if you have a decent work experience and you are applying for this program just be aware of the business impact that you are creating in your organization and the and the contribution of business analytics in the domain mm-hmm. so at least in my case as i had a as i was a software developer in investment banks and all so i was asked questions like how do financial and and risk take uh, take decision on uh, risk mitigation on the portfolios how do they diversify the risk etc so just be aware of or uh, just be aware of the impact of the things that you are contributing to your organization so i think for uh, people with work experience this matters a lot and mm-hmm. this in a bit helps uh, the interviewer that you know what you are actually doing you are just not simply executing the things but you are into it completely right so that's one thing that i would definitely want to add another thing uh, so this particular question i think i if my understanding is correct this was asked to everyone so have uh, so they will definitely ask you why are you choosing pgdpa yeah. over any other program mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Uh, you have multiple options right you can mm-hmm. pursue pgp you can pursue mm-hmm. pg uh, phd you can go for ms data science right mm-hmm. so have your intentions to pursue pgdpa crystal clear and uh, you have to uh, 
convince them in a way that I mean you have to build a logical argument and uh, explain them why PGDB is the best fit for them, right? So that is something that you should definitely prepare well uh, when it comes to interview. Uh, yeah, and as Manas rightly pointed out, do uh, uh, do read the newspaper or go through the on, uh, go through the news. Uh, yeah, when you're Are they the asking because... current affair questions at all, or is it more related to anything that is specific with business analytics and the business world in that sense? Uh, uh, the current affairs. That is a little tricky to answer. Okay. That question I mean, is a little so tricky has... to answer. Okay. One needs yeah, to just prepare for. Uh, like yeah, just be aware of the affair. things that are okay. going on. Yeah, at least in my case, I can uh, I can if I remember correctly, I was asked two questions. Uh, so in the uh, in the in the first quarter of this year, 2023, right? Mm -hmm. So there were significant bank failures, right? Mm -hmm. So I was asked about that. So again, that mm -hmm. has some uh, relation with my profile and my work. But mm -hmm. yeah, uh, so that is one thing. And secondly, I was asked uh, about the comment, uh, a famous comment made by Sundar Pichai uh, in the beginning okay. of the year. Because at that time, uh, the last language models were picking up. Okay. So just be aware of the things that are related to this. Mm -hmm. The okay. field of business analytics and especially your domain. Okay. I think. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, th there are a few questions, uh, but uh, I think yeah, those are kind of very. Uh, we can take it later. So let's uh, let's talk about the academics section. So now with PGDBA, uh, the, this is one program uh, in business analytics that actually spans three institutes. So how rigorous <laughs> the entire process is. Of course, you know, uh, I think Ankit and uh, Shaumadeep has gone through the entire process. So, yeah, I mean, Ankit, of course, you know, please do tell us how exactly, you know, the entire process goes. And, uh, yeah, Manas and Athar, uh, you guys can talk about your um, experience uh, so far, as in how uh, rigorous the academics are and how exactly it is divided. Uh, how much uh, do we start from IIM Calcutta, then IIT KGP, then ISI Kolkata? And then we end up again in our capital. How does it? And and how the semesters are divided in those different uh, different institutes. So uh, maybe yeah, Athar and Manas, you guys can take it uh, together. And Ankit, please pitch in. Yeah. So Manas, you can start. Uh, Athar, you can add. And Ankit, uh, you can talk about the your bit. Yeah, the second year bit. Yeah. Okay. Manas. Yeah. Yeah. So any. Initially, yeah, initially, so we go to I am Calcutta initially for one month. That's called okay. pre semester. Mm -hmm. So it goes really fast. You don't even know when it starts yes. and when it ends. Okay. So it, it's a whole kind of semester where there's a exams and semester exams. So I was saying that you'll initially go to IIM Calcutta for one month. That's called pre-semester. So in that pre-semester, there are exams, there are end semester exams, there are projects that you have to do, and there are some fests that are lined up. So you have a lot of things to do. So it is hectic academically, but you would also enjoy. Mm -hmm. So you would not even know that when the time gets, when the time ends, that one month ends. So after that, you go to ISI for four months, Academically, the ISI part is not very academically hectic, but since you have to give your time to case competitions and other thing projects and all, so you remain occupied. That's what I felt. And IIT KGP, I felt is very hectic academically. We just came and we can still feel the heat. We can already feel the heat that what is, there are a lot of classes happening from morning 8 to 5 sometimes. So mm -hmm. that's from my side. Yeah. Yeah, Athar. Yeah, uh, at least from a, a fresher point of view, Manas pretty much covered it, everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, sure, I'll go ahead. Uh, how hectic is the semester depends on how the course is structured and how the institute functions. So it's like if you go into ISI, the institute functions from, uh, institute functions from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So like you have three course that 5 p.m. part. And as Manas said, that uh, we don't have, I mean, people do case uh, case competitions there. They try to build their profile. But that particular thing is more kind of people, I mean, people taking up things. If you are not mm. willing, then you have free time. If you want to do, then there is not. So, so people don't feel the heat in the ISI semester. Okay. Like if when we go to go to IIT Kharagpur, 
so it's like you are cycling every day like for 3 kilometers there are courses lined up and you have to do compulsory projects on each of the subjects so you don't have options so whether you want to do case competitions whether you want to do, you have to compulsory do the project part so why mm-hmm. that is why and it is like i think that it is little compressed than isi kolkata and they have a different way of functioning so people feel the hit there and also uh, the pace the pace of isi professors is like different and the pace of iit kharagpur professors are different and you have to attend more i mean kind of there are more there are like five subjects in isi but there are some core subjects plus there are some electives in iit kharagpur so it's like spans around eight to nine subjects in iit kharagpur so people feel the hit and that is like you have to survive in it so i mean that is the part so but the main thing is now here you have to play time management as i was a placement representative i i mean in the whole day i used to go for gym for one hour or so and used to do my academic also so that is not the issue i mean you have to manage it when we move from is iit isi to iit then iit to im so im is like whole of you have uh, you have two portions of it like there's the i mean let's say that the portion i mean the semester is of five months so it's like two and a half months there is first half and then after that two and a half months you have uh second half in that we have some core subjects in each of the part and then there is like electives so it's like mm-hmm. more of more of learning about uh, the uh, more more about learning about the mba subjects plus you have to do the placement prep also so it's like mm-hmm. you have to for the internship prep, uh, prep so it's like you have it is going to be hectic because now the placement plays a part so yeah okay. that's it okay okay uh, to me uh, with so basically you no know, isi is slightly more Uh, karma life than basically yeah, yeah, iit kharagpur is the most stressful one is it yeah, yeah karma because you uh, i mean the classes in iit kharagpur start from 8 am and classes mm-hmm. in iit kolkata start from 11 am they function differently no oh, okay so, uh. yeah so there are fixed eight, there are fixed uh, like how many four to i mean i don't know how many classes are there i think <laughs> they start from okay. 11 am they finish at 5 pm that's it fixed. okay but it, it is not the case with iit you uh, start at 8 you fin may might finish at 6 7 and then uh, after that you have to do the project and okay. and also there is a i mean for each of the projects i mean uh, each of the subjects you have a project that you submit at the last and then there are submissions also that you have to do mm-hmm. per week or something like that so it's it, it is okay okay Pons yeah uh, have, yeah that you acute i mean accumulate fatigue also uh, <laughs> cycling here and there here and there <laughs> oh yes <laughs> okay uh, tell us about the clubs and committees athas can you take this question uh, what are the clubs and committees uh, and manas please uh, pitch in yeah yes yeah, sure definitely yeah uh, yeah so when it comes to clubs and committees so as this program is uh, a unique in itself right it has, it is affiliated to the three institutes and we spend our time at the three institutes so uh, if you talk about engaging with the committees of a particular institute So it becomes a little difficult. That is how uh, I mean because of the dynamics of this program. Uh, but uh, uh, but the thing is, uh, there is an analytics club in IIM Kolkata, and a few batchmates of ours are uh, are are a member of the analytics club. I think even Manas is a part of analytics club of IIM Kolkata. So that that is where you get to engage with the analytics club of IIM Kolkata. Apart from that, uh, we internally in PGDB have uh, have many teams. So for example, there is an alumni team who deals with. Uh, uh engaging with the alumni uh, arranging sessions interaction se- interaction sessions with alumni in the current batch etc there is a placement team there is a external relations team etc so uh, these are the uh, these are the teams where you can participate and uh, play a role uh, to serve pgdb and help PG- pgdb okay. so that is one thing that i would like to add apart from that coming to fest and other things so when we were in pre semester of iim kolkata Uh, uh we we, uh, we had a uh, we had a sports competition in ayankada where the students from pgdba uh, participated and uh, and uh, obviously it was a complete wide fest so even the pgdba students were there so that is where you get to engage with the pgdba students uh, by participating in sports uh, apart from that uh, when we were in isi kolkata so i am kolkata and isi kolkata is not very far so during the isi kolkata period uh, that the i am kolkata conducted uh, the seven fest lake to you Uh, seven seven legs fest so you get to attend that as well and now as we are in iit kharagpur uh, in a in a week uh, we have the spring fest and the city okay uh, so basically you know you guys are uh, also uh, so can you guys also be part of so are these 
collection committees that you guys are talking about are specifically for the uh, business analytics students or are these like the collection committees that are already there with I am Calcutta, you become a member uh, in that and then in IIT Tharapur and then in uh, ISI Kolkata, yeah, Manas? See, the thing is, if uh, we are just a batch of 60 odd, just uh, a second, my internet, yeah. internet. Yeah, no, it's okay, yeah. We can hear it. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, we are just a batch of 60 odd people. So mm -hmm. it is not possible to make so many clubs. Yeah, so yeah, we just yeah. have some clubs and okay. in whatever institutes we go, we try to be mm -hmm. part of that club. And many of the people are part of many clubs in different institutes. Some of the people are part of music club in ISI Calcutta or I am Calcutta okay. or dance club or I am a part of analytics club. Okay. And we also have some clubs. Hmm. There's That's a magazine. Okay. Team. Yeah, yes, you guys have a magazine also. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have a magazine called Aina. Yeah. So, so we have a magazine team. We have external relations team. All those uh, alumni team, as Atharva stated, there's a placement yeah. team. So we all those important teams. And regarding these cultural teams and all these things, we don't have as of yet. We'll try to get it since the batch strength is low. So it gets difficult to, I mean, mm -hmm. manage or. Yeah. interact with different clubs mm -hmm. okay yeah uh, angit you are part of uh, which clubs and committees i believe place from right yeah i was the member of the place from team and also i would like to add huh. like there is a flagship summit uh, of our pgdba course that is known as trilytics uh, oh, yeah. and yeah so it's like a i mean con it's a conclave basically it's an annual conclave like where we i mean where there are we generally host a, a case study uh, i mean the analytics case study competition and there are like two three renowned speakers that come and then address the students mm -hmm. yeah okay so yeah uh, and uh, yeah you were saying something more uh no yeah okay yeah and uh, and, and tell me something once you know you were uh, you you were done with iit Tharakpur uh, stint and then you were in isi kolkata are you still uh, part of those clubs and committees in, that you were part of in IIT Kharagpur or I mean, or you just leave it there and then move forward? <laughs> we don't leave actually. The thing uh, is, you might have to do the work if they are doing it. Okay. But you might okay. not get to part of it because you are in other, uh, you're in other, other campus. Ah, okay, yeah. So, Amadeep, uh, which uh, clubs and committees you were a member of? Yeah, so I was min I was part of the magazine team which Manas was okay. uh, talking about, and okay. uh, this year we had managed to bring Josh Stammer, uh, okay. the favorite YouTuber, on board. Mm -hmm. I was also part of the chess team for I am Calcutta and okay. uh, the hostel team at IIT Kharagpur, okay. and the analytics team as well, which uh -huh. Manas talked about. So mm -hmm. for me, uh, the course was a very good way of connecting mm -hmm. with different sort of folks, say at ISI Kolkata. I am or IIT. I I felt that I could learn a lot from them, mm -hmm. not only from my batch mates in PGDBA, but the MBA folks as well, the BTEC folks in IIT Kharagpur as well. And I think mm -hmm. PGDBA does give you that kind of opportunity. The onus is on you to take it up. There is mm -hmm. not that structure in place that you would be pushed into doing things. But if you take the initiative, you can learn a lot from these people. But you have to take the first step okay okay uh there's a, a question about i come from it engineering background currently working with oracle financial services my daily work includes working with java rpl sql i always uh, wanted to go for business analytics so i assume in pgdba coding will be done in python so will my work x experience with java be a positive or a negative in the interview yeah so i just pray for you that you get into pgdb and you are already in the lead i would say mm -hmm. so basically it doesn't matter whether you know coding in java c plus plus c or anything you know coding that is the advantage that is the thing so like i'll the people in my batch i mean they were uh, i mean engineers but not from the core background i mean the core electrical from the coding background let's say mm -hmm. csi electrical and they had to learn coding and they learned it well and i think that anyone who goes into pgdba if they have coding background or they don't have they can easily learn it python that is why python is there because python is easy to code c c plus plus when you learn it it's not so if you have if you know about coding you are already an advantage in your batch just be i mean just 
uh, I mean, get through the interviews and the CBT test, and you are in the advantage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, tell me uh, why, would, uh, okay, this is uh, between, uh, yeah, Saumadi, okay, if you can answer this, and Ankit, please pick in. Uh, if, uh, how is PGDBA program, uh, this is the business analytics program offered by these three institutes, uh, so unique from the other business analytics programs that are available, let's say, in the I'm Bangalore and others. Yeah, so can you tell us something unique about this one and why this would probably be the best if somebody is absolutely sure that yes, business analytics is what I need to dedicate my life to. Yeah. So, I think uh, I'm a good person to answer this mm -hmm. because I have uh, had some CAD background and I've interacted with folks from Masters Union, uh, IIMB, PGP, VA. Yeah. So, the basic understanding for me is that those courses are way less technical because they are structured in a proper B-school environment. But okay. in PGDBA, you really get your hands dirty mm -hmm. and you really learn things in depth. For example, at ISI, you study statistical inference in a lot of depth, which would never be covered in a B-school. Okay. At okay. IIT Kharagpur, you are given proper coding assignments. You learn data structures and algorithms, which you would learn at such, such a deep technical level in uh, say any other business analytics course. And added to that, you also have the flavor of management coming from I am Calcutta, which I don't think a lot of other colleges in India uh, can replicate. Uh, okay. So. Uh, uh, Another thing which I uh, which I feel adds to PGDBA is that our internships occur only after you go through the whole course. Okay. Mm, okay. So in a B school setup, okay. you have the summer placements three months yes. right out of the B school, okay. where a lot of your evaluation would be based on what you have done your in your past life. Mm. But PGDBA gives you this shot at redemption because you have one year to prove yourself, and I felt personally that was very helpful to me as I could use that one year to build my profile, uh, be interview ready, create my skills. Uh, in other courses, you don't that kind don't have that kind of a, a breathing space. Uh, I think uh, that is primarily it. And also uh, the market is looking at PGDBA as candidates who are really technical and they have the managerial flavor as well. So uh, you would see that uh, companies like Oliver Wyman or BCG, they hire for the specific analytics management consulting role only from one campus in India, which is the PGDB course. They are not going to other campuses yet. So I think that is what kind of differentiates PGDBA from other uh, okay. business analytics courses in India. Yeah, that was a great answer, Samadhi. Thank you. Uh, Angit, you want to add anything? Uh, yeah, like Samadhi yeah. explained all about it. Uh, for I mean for those starters, I would say I mean if you want to understand what our course offers, you have to break down what is analytics. Mm -hmm. So if you are able to see that there is machine learning, there is analytics, you need to know about probability. Then you need to need to about know about distributions, and then you need to how need to know how to code about it. How to not just to code, not to copy the code. How to implement it from the base? Do you know yeah. the base about how are the mm -hmm. how are the Python packages coded? How it is structured? How to code well? So thing is like these all things, I mean, these all things are covered in our courses. So you learn statistics, statistics in a principled way. You learn about probabilities in a principled way from the best of the colleges, from the best of the professors. So in this way, like ISI Kolkata offers that, then IIT Kharagpur implements that in a way that is most, I mean, how do you differentiate uh, from a college that, I mean, from a dif from a college that you are from PGTBA and you are from a different college is that you implement it, you understand it from the base. And you can explain it, explain it in a way that is, I mean, you can, uh, you can explain it in a way that is easily, easy to understand. So that is the different thing that is offered by PGTBA. On the business front, I think that IMB PGTBA might be competing on that front with IM Calcutta, mm -hmm. but these two colleges are totally unique yeah. for us, and that is the USP of our course. 
and rightly said by comment yeah. is explained yeah, yeah that's it comment. yeah got it yeah okay let's talk about the internships and placement so in uh, some of the uh, you already spoke about you know how the internship is much later in case of phdb program so can you uh, so i think manas and other uh, are yet to go through that whole process so yeah somadi and ankit can you guys uh, take us through the internship process to placement how it is and uh, your from your personal experience and uh, how um, oliver wyman happened uh, for you for both of you actually <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah somadi uh, sure sure kalyan so uh, during uh, my internship it was held on the day, first day was on day uh, 25th september 22 i guess if i am not wrong mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it was a great time the market was absolutely booming and uh, the day before uh, the placement chairperson had already told us that probably we are expecting multiple offers for each candidate it, the market was so bright mm-hmm. and uh, uh, that was what from uh, what happened eventually in i am calcutta we have a tradition that if you see a monitor lizard on campus it's considered very auspicious and right <laughs> on the day of the placements when we were going to the rooms we saw a monitor lizard so everyone was uh, pretty excited and uh, the internships were amazing uh, people had three offers two offers i myself had three offers uh, ultimately chose to join uh, d shop Uh, uh which is a hedge fund, hedge fund and uh, uh, um, what i liked about the process was that uh, we had prepared in a structured manner and the interviewers were pretty happy with uh, what they saw uh, regarding our preparation uh, had an excellent time at d shop for 6 months and then uh, the the structure of the course is that your final placements happen 3 uh, months into your internship Okay. So at that time you are still doing your internship and parallelly you have to for parallelly you have to prepare for final placements as well. So, so during that internship process, where are you exactly? Are you in ISI Kolkata by then? By the no, we are in the in uh, we are in the offices. So I was in okay. Dishaw's office in Hyderabad. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the final placements usually happens uh, virtually. So at okay. that time Oliver Wyman came to campus and I. a uh, back then offered there and that's how oliver mm-hmm. wyman happened i think uh, the good thing about PG, pgdb is that due to the smaller batch size mm-hmm. candidates can get a lot of offers which becomes a really challenge mm-hmm. say at i am bangalore we have 600 students and we are mm-hmm. competing with the best of the best so yeah. it becomes really competitive but here uh, there are 60 students so if you are adequately prepared uh, mm-hmm. rest assured you will get a pretty good job offer that yeah. that i can guarantee you today yeah. itself okay <laughs> all right yeah okay ankit uh, if you can also talk about and also you know ankit if you can just tell us for the people you know since you know, we have not been in this program so for all of us when exactly and in which uh, uh, when your internship starts that's like after one year of your being there right at this program so where and which where so the internship interviews and all are these taking place at which which institute i am calcutta or somewhere else and placements again in which institute again back in i am calcutta uh, yeah so, yeah, sure. so i'll get about it so i'll start with like as manas said we start mm-hmm. with i am calcutta with a pre semester of one month then we move mm-hmm. to iit calcutta then we move to iit kharagpur the third semester we are in third semester is we are in i am calcutta and the fourth semester is internship so the post i am currently in the fourth semester i am interning so before that i was in i am calcutta and uh, the internship interviews happen in i am calcutta the whole process happens in i am calcutta so we are good with that part and the interviews happen offline so the companies come to the campus and you have in person interviews face to face so yeah for about the internship experience now as so me the portrait the market yes. was good the market was not that good at my time uh-huh. so so the thing is again the the batch size now works at a benefit mm-hmm. small size mm-hmm. small sprints to be placed so uh, like uh, our i mean little bit process changed in our time because uh, there was some market issue so we had a change in process in in some of the stand that was a two day process we had a rolling process 
so okay. it will expand about about like uh, 15 to 1 month yeah. oh. 15 days to 1 month and uh, companies used to come on different days we had i mean we had academics going on on which the placements were not there and if the placements are there there were no academics okay. so uh, i bagged the first offer from i got two offers i bagged the first offer from mastercard then i got the uh, internship offer from mastercard then i sat for uh, oliver wyman and got to oliver wyman and uh, i joined oliver wyman I mean, currently I'm interning and uh, I'm happy with the work that I'm doing. And the final placements are scheduled in the month of late January or February. And people can sit for it. Uh, I actually got an PPO from Oliver Wyman. So I'll be joining as a full time in May itself. So mm-hmm. I won't be sitting for the final placements. Okay. So that is the case. So yeah, that's yeah. it. And, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. and you Very start relaxing, preparing man. for the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you are you start preparing for the internship. I mean, if you do the hard work in ISI Kolkata, IIT Kharagpur, so you have built the profile. Now you only have to, uh, I mean, revise and learn for the uh, business stuff that you are taught in I am Calcutta because they expect things like if you are a good technology. I mean, if you know good technology, if you know good coding, how do you put before the class? Mm-hmm. That is the main thing. What mm-hmm. do you or what do you have technically learned? Have you been able to put in a way that the person understand that they look for the people? Also, uh, if someone joins PGDBA and is into his, uh, I mean, IIT Kharagpur, I, I am Calcutta semester, get well versed with like how do you communicate? Because that is the point. Because you are, you they know that you are technologically and codingly well, but they I mean they look upon how how presentable you are. So that is the tip and everything that I've learned through as a place com, as a student in uh, I am uh, in PGDBA, and that is mm-hmm. the same I'm saying now. Yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah, uh, there's a question for so as for difference. One can expect techno business roles after PGDBA. Uh, actually, I'll talk about few roles and few uh-huh. domains that people, uh, the students from PGDBA that go into, they go into uh, like they go into roles like uh, supply chain analytics. They go into mm-hmm. management consulting. Be a, there is a branch of uh, BCG known as BCG X now. I mean, they okay. have been renamed from BCG Gamma to BCG X. That particularly hires from I am uh, PGD Bay because they need management consulting and a kind of analytics high on I mean, the high end analytics kind of people. And then there are uh, there are like uh, in the domains of like uh, the show hires for finance and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and there would be many roles like management consulting, uh, machine learning engineers, data scientists. Are the I mean the bread and butter roles for PGDB. Okay. So, okay. I uh, yeah business analyst. I mean a particular role like business analyst is very less in PGDB because that particularly focuses on business analyst. But no, we are more into data data science and stuff, and that is the reality of that is the reality okay. of. PGDBA. So there will be more people who will be uh, the the hiring the recruiting firms will be expecting. Or would be hiring more of a data scientist instead of like a yeah data pilot. scientist yeah actually okay. that is now I mean now we are focusing towards LLM and AI and stuff like that because uh-huh. world is moving on that one and you have to LLM. learn everything neural network and stuff like that okay all right okay okay so basically this but the, but the thing is that still still there are uh, companies you know, who are hiring uh, PGDBA people because for the business sense as well right. As yeah, well, they need to have the analytics bit, but they also need to crunch and understand the data and interpret it. Yeah, yeah, it is very crucial. Like how mm-hmm. how can you interpret data and put it in the front of uh, put it in front of the business? That is most uh-huh. important. And also, companies have now started like the first round are often. Uh, I mean, like the cross interview process is a case study where you need to prepare a PPT. Like oh. you have, they would they would give a they would give a problem. They would give you data. Now, how do you put it? How do you give a solution? Keeping the business sense in mind, that is most important. Now, the process has now typically changed from a resume selection to a first round of case study selection. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. things have moved on from 2015 right, to 2022, right. 23. Right. Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Manas, there is a question for you. I have a gap year of three years because of UPSC preparation. Would this hinder my chance in selection for the program during the interview? See, uh, in our batch, there are four people who have gap of three or four years due to UPSC. Okay. So it definitely won't hinder your chance. Just do well in the exam and the interview, you'll get it. Don't worry. 
Okay, there is a, also another question. I have three years of experience in ESP and two years gap after one year IT experience. I had my graduation in petroleum engineering. How good of a fit is this program for me? Uh, who can answer? Why don't you I think if, hmm. yeah, if yeah. you have interest in business analytics, it is a good fit for you. Just if you have a lot of gap, just be ready to explain that why the gap is there. If the interviewers are happy with your explanations, then it is fine. Just be true to why the gap is there. And if you're interested in business analytics, no matter what your profile is, you will be a good fit. Since you'll start from scratch here, even if you don't know coding, I myself did new coding, but you'll learn everything there. So that's not an issue. Okay. All I'd right. like to pick yeah, in yeah. something. Yes, like, yes, um, thank you. Your interest, your interest should be so high that these all things are getting covered. You should score well. You should do good in interviews and you're done. Mm -hmm. I mean, they should see that you are very much interested in that course because as the batch size is small, they are very selective. That mm -hmm. is for sure. Correct. So, and I think, you know, once you also get selected, then after that, if you if you lack commitment, then probably in IIT Kharagpur yeah. you'll be struggling <laughs> with all the yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. So one has to be very, very, uh, you know, uh, particular about this choice. Yeah. Yeah, right. because that the course mm -hmm. is a very specialized one, so you yes. should be special enough to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Atlab, you had mentioned something about uh, that, you know, when uh, you need to be very careful with what you uh, fill up in the application form because they might ask you those questions in the interview, personal interview. So any, any specific tip as in, um, do you need to mention as in, is it like a SOP sort of a thing? How in MBA schools uh, or in B schools, you have to mention why PGPPA or what have you been doing and all that? When do you have to write all that in the application form? Uh, sure, I can answer this. Mm -hmm. So uh, at least last year, there was a, uh, there was a uh, personal response question in the application form, okay. uh, which asks us about about our career goals and why mm -hmm. do we want to pursue this, uh, pursue in the field of business and uh, mm -hmm. pursue a career in the field of business. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, from that point of view, it was important uh, that uh, I mean I would say if uh, if in the current application form, if you have that kind of question, so just envision what you want to see yourself five years down the line and and fill the response accordingly, uh, because that is something that might drive your interview in a particular or specific direction, right? Mm -hmm. So I think if uh, such a question is there in the application form, then uh, you need to be careful around. We, we had a, a sports competition, right? So okay. this is a pick of, a, of a, the batch nine people. So uh, mm -hmm. there were a, there were a few competitions that, that the guys actually won. So for example, okay. in, uh, I think yeah, they won in basketball for sure. And, uh, so is it a well. mixed batch or is it only PGDVA people? No, so this team. It's uh, a mixed batch. Uh, yeah. So what? The no, 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 no. Yeah, it minus, was, minus. It was not a mixed. Huh. Yeah, I let I let yeah. that question. <laughs> that was not the mixed batch. So uh, it was kind of section wars where uh, every section where PGDVA was one of the sections. So all the uh, team members were PG from PGDVA only. And different sections from PGP, IM, Calcutta. So it oh, was a competition okay. among them. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So the, uh, this was a section was where the where the batch really mm -hmm. enjoyed. Either they participated or they cheered for the GDBA team. And it was a real fun, I would say. Then uh, coming on coming on to the campus. So uh, there's the iconic IM Calcutta. Yeah, of course, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> many of the people might have already seen. So this was decorated yes. beautifully during the. Uh, the in the IM Calcutta session, almost all the panels show at least yeah. one photo of this. <laughs> this. This is iconic, yeah. for yeah. sure. So this was beautifully decorated on 15th of August. Mm -hmm. Then uh, coming on to the view from my hostel, so not not everyone will get this hostel, but this was uh -huh. I was lucky enough to get this one. So okay. this was the view. Uh, that I used to get from my hostel. Manas, you also have the same hostel view or no? No, we were not lucky enough. I was not lucky enough. So I oh, my view not my view was not great. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ankit, <laughs> how was your view? Is how this the MDP? Huh? Yeah, MDP. Actually, actually, MDP. Yeah. actually, there is like uh, <laughs> people from people from alphabetically alphabetically starting. They don't get this hostel. Oh. Is, okay. You want that though? I don't know why. But, okay. No, but Akhar, you had the camp, you, you were A, 
and yeah yeah i don't know how did he get that okay <laughs> 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 i got this <laughs> That's what happened to me, I think. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we get selected for internship during second year, our semester three class in Ann Calcutta will overlap. No, no. Actually, when you when yeah. you like when the third semester is over, then you then you start your internship. That is the fourth mm-hmm. semester. Okay. So, so there, there is, is no overlap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the final convocation, where does it take place? Ann Calcutta. Okay. 
yeah that is tricky so it's like huh. turn by turn each institute is responsible oh, for our admission yeah. so for somadeep batch it is i am calcutta for my batch it's iit kharagpur and for manas's yeah. batch it is isi kolkata so oh, my yeah. convocation will be held in iit kharagpur somadeep will be held in i am calcutta and they will be held in isi kolkata okay okay and uh, yeah do we need to submit project internship reports with institutes uh, after our internship yeah yeah i mean this i mean the four semester is totally graded and you have a industry mentor from industry mentor from the company and there is an faculty mentor from the college so it's like they both grade it like what all projects you did what all contribution you did and this forms a part of the whole uh, i mean the results so it's a very important uh, semester i would give with highest of credits okay. so i mean this is totally graded okay tell me uh, since uh, uh, the placements in the internship interviews are at i am kolkata So are these uh, exactly at the same time as the MBA uh, program? As in the no, it's uh, it's no, completely no. different. Yeah. And unlike PG PBA, we huh. don't have common placements with PG P folks. So we have oh, our yeah. own placement team. We are co- call the company separately, oh, and okay. we have a separate process and a separate timeline altogether. Okay. Uh, because we have a six month internship, and the traditional okay. PG P course would have three months of internship. So doesn't make sense to do things. Okay. Okay. Uh, Manas, can you answer this? Uh, best mock series for PGDBA? Any target score in mocks? Did you? How many mocks did you take for PGDBA? Honestly, I didn't take any mock. Yeah. But, okay. Uh, uh, Athar, you can answer otherwise. Yeah, Manas, please do answer. But what I've talked to many mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. ideally, if you take five to six or seven eight mocks, that should be more than okay. enough. Mm-hmm. Just analyze those mocks properly. Give sectional mocks if needed, and mm-hmm. that should be enough. And uh, there are many institutes which offer mock tests. Mm-hmm. You can go visit. Yeah. You can Google them and mm-hmm. you'll let. Yeah, Athar, did you take right. mocks? Yeah. Yeah. So as estimated by Manas, right? He gave a number of between five to seven. So that's a pretty accurate number. So even I approximately gave around those number of mocks, and I used to practice offline. Uh, I mean, uh, offline time. Oh, any any uh, or any. Concept. Any yeah, for sending my concept. Uh, so as I mentioned, yeah, mainly for points I followed the NCERT. Okay. For the NCERT. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And yeah, I would also suggest yeah. folks to go through the previous year papers in sufficient detail. Uh-huh. I feel people lose out on that part of the prep, which is the most important part. So please, please go through all the previous year questions, understand all the concepts before thinking about mocks. I think that would cover a lot of your preparation. Yep. Good point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would just add yeah. one. Yes. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So there is PGDBA dot ML website, the official website of PGDBA, where you will get the previous year papers, interview experiences, okay. everything you need to know about PGDBA. So mm-hmm. we'll let you know in the description. I'll also tag that. Uh, I'll also send you share the link in the comments in the comments here. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, before we wrap up, uh, can you all give each uh, one one tip each? So maybe uh, Manas, you can give a tip on the prep, uh, and also uh, Shomadi, you can give one tip on regarding the interview. Uh, Athar, you can uh, give a tip again on uh, the interview, and Ankit, uh, one tip on prep. Uh, yeah, so one final tip that I have mm-hmm. I would give on prep is focus on mathematics part. It will, mm-hmm. will constitute fifty percent of the paper. Don't take it lightly. Do well on that part. There is an an academy JE means playlist. Do that rigorous rigorously. Do the NCERT part. Give some mocks. Be calm in the exam since it's a three hours long exam. So you won't feel the heat. Just like in CAT or any other MBA exam, you won't feel the heat. You'll be able to do good. Just be well prepared, and uh, don't worry about the result. You'll do good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so many personal interview. Yeah. My trip for personal interview would be uh, do the GDPI preparation religiously and try to brush up on mathematics and your profile. Uh, don't think too much because there are only 30 seats so try to control whatever is in your hand ultimately a lot of external factors 
can influence your selection so i think the trick is to focus on yourself and uh, keep doing the hard work eventually you would be re- rewarded it might be with a pgdbs seat or life might have some better plans for you mm, okay yeah uh, next other one yep. tip yes for the interview right yeah, yeah. so one thing i would definitely like to say uh, just be honest uh, during the interview and uh, during the interviews your approach matters so you might not uh, so let's say if your phone uh, if, if a question is thrown at you you might not be able to get an accurate solution that's okay but your thought process and your approach matters a lot so that is one thing i would definitely like you all to stress uh, that's for sure second uh, as i mentioned earlier uh, earlier Uh, just be prepared to answer by PGDBA because that is a question which is bound to come. Uh, it was asked to many folks uh, many times. I'm pretty sure about it. So just be prepared to answer with that. And third uh, and lastly, I would like to say that sometimes things do not go well. So at least in my case, uh, when it comes to online exam, I did not perform well. But that does not mean that you are out of the game. You can still uh, come back and make an entry by performing well in the interviews because because even interviews have a decent weightage. So even that things matters a lot. So yeah, uh, those are my three tips. Yeah, Ankit, final tip overall on, as well. Yeah. Yeah. For the prep part, I would say that you, if you get ample time, try to plug in options and then see whether it fits. I mean, these. I mean, if you have time, do all the stuff. If you want to stand out, apart from the mathematics, do well in BRC and DLR also. Mm-hmm. And apart from that, if you love analytics, this is the course. Don't worry too much about it because I failed many times, but you get only. I mean, you need only one chance to rise up, and that's the thing. And don't think about whether the course is hectic or not because if I can do it, you can also. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, before we uh, wrap up, I would like to thank all the attendees for their questions and uh, special thanks to all the panelists. Thank you, Ankit. Thank you, Somadhi. Thank you, Manas. Thank you, Akhar. Thank you so much for all the insights and tips you gave to our panel. Thank you. Thank you Kalani for coming. Thank you.